That's like what freaking what's his name? Nick Phoenix would say. He would Team Caroline, Monsieur Greenby, there in Rugel. These names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Why are you confused? <laughs> Well, it is for me. I'm gonna start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep track of who everyone is. A what? A Facebook. It's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy to carry catalog. I think I understand. But it's, that name sounds really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrow's gonna start as compiling a Facebook. You can access a list of people you've met at any time by clicking the book symbol. Let's go at Facebook. <laughs> Let's make a move. <laughs> JJ Falcon, the aviary attorney himself. Sparrowson, Falcon's suave and courageous lackey. What a handsome fellow. Protor de Mao, the wealthy father of Dame Catiline. Protor hired us to defend Dame Catiline in court. Quark, the ill mannered jailkeeper, seems to feel disgust for criminals and for animals in general. Catiline de Miao, the elegant, gorgeous daughter of Signor Perrington de Miao. She has been accused of murdering Monster Greenby. Greenway, the froggy businessman who was found murdered at Chateau Crinier, a college college of Pierre and Redback. I like that it's actually written by him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's what a suave man. <laughs> He's fancy. <laughs> Let's make a move, a fancy move. Where do we go? The game saves automatically at the start of each new day. But you can also make a quick save at any time by selecting Save and Quit from the pause menu. You can access the pause menu by clicking on the cog symbol in the upper left corner or by pressing the escape key. Do right, you so think we can either? What do you think? If you go in a certain order, different things happen. No. No. I'm not sure. Probably. It's a child screen. So we can either go see the Baron at the crime scene, or the photographer. Crime scene or Baron? I guess the crime scene sounds better to go see first, then you got evidence. And then when you go confront the other guy, you're like, well, this was at the crime scene. Fuck you. Falcon and Sparrowson enter the courtyard outside Chateau Crinier. People with dirty clothes and gaunt faces linger around the building's shadows. Are these mice or kangaroos? Excuse me, monsieurs. I don't mean to be a pain, but my little girl and I are sick and starving, see? <coughs> I don't suppose you'd happen to have some spare change? You have 20 monies in your heart. What will you do? Give them ten of our monies? Yes. Here you go. Stay safe, madame. Oh, wow. Bless you, monsieurs. Bless you. That was pretty generous of you, boss. Times are tough. Making sure our mother and child can make it through the last of the winter is the least I can do. Oh, da. <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing standing here, moralizing? How dare I moralize? <laughs> How dare we have morals? Come on, Sparrowson. We've got business to attend to. And do I also have hands, I wonder? He will never show us. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the pristine wood-paneled foyer of Chateau Crenier. Wow, look at this place. Baron Rougel must be loaded. Wow! <laughs> More than loaded. When it comes to lucrative investments, the Baron is a legend. <laughs> Factories, chocolate shop, hotels, or railroads, chocolate shops. Ch chocolate shops? Did I mention the chocolate shops? Yes, chocolate shops. <laughs> the Baron owns a little bit of everything this side of the sea. Is he here right now? Maybe. Yes. He's the smug-looking chap with the impressive mane. But we must approach the man of his stature with tact and finesse. Hey, Baron, with like a word! Hey! How's that? <laughs> it's 
Barrowson. You have the finesse of an inebriated warthog. Inebriated warthog. Ine inebriated. Inebriated. <laughs> a drunk warthog. And I, I know what inebriated is. I didn't know how it was spelled. <laughs> you can thank me later. I think I got his attention. Hey, you. <laughs> Mm, did I hear my name? Great Ban Rochelle, property owner extraordinaire at your service. So I do by you fellows be more investigators. Uh no we're attorneys. No lies here. Not quite. I'm a private attorney, JJ Falcon. And this is my associate, Sparrowson. Lawyers, eh? You know you aren't the first to pass through here today. Oh. Yes, yes, this jumpy, twitchy fellow came by this morning, asked a bunch of questions, then hopped away before he heard the answers. Most curious. Huh. huh. Do you know who he was, Sparrowson? Perhaps. I have a hunch. Hutch, sorry. Hutch. We'll be seeing him at the trial. Is his name Hutch? Is that why he said? <laughs> a friend of yours. Something like that. Your brother. Mm, so what do I do for you, Jules? We're doing some research on Monosaur Greenwee, the frog who was killed here on Friday evening. Of course, of course, such a tragedy. He was a good friend and a loyal business partner. And I suppose you, Monsieurs, will be wanting to see the crime scene for yourself. Yes, please. Actually, yes. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> you will be my guest. You will find the garden where the murder occurred through the back doors. You will also be interested in the lounge on the second floor, third door to the right. That would be where we gathered for a group photograph prior to the... Answer. The unfortunate incident. Oh, can we see the finished photograph? No, I'm afraid not. It is my understanding that a photograph must be developed before it can be viewed. It is a slow process. My own copy of the photograph is to be delivered in three days' time. Three days! That's no good to us. The trial may be over by then. Nonetheless, we appreciate your hospitality. Thank you, Baron. It is no trouble at all. I'll be here to see you out when you are done with your investigations. So, where are we going first, boss? Go upstairs! <laughs> well, I guess we go look at the, the garden, see where all the dead body parts are. Dame Catterline said that she found Montessor Greenway. Greenway. On the stairs by the fountain. So this must be the very spot where the murder took place. Hey boss, do the crime scene investigation thing. Crime scene investigation thing? Yeah, you know, the thing where you get all eagle-eyed and analyze every object in excruciating detail. You mean falcon-eyed. How dare you? <laughs> you mean search for evidence. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's not a bad suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time the Parisians. Parisian. Parisian. Wait, are they all per Persians? They're in Paris. Oh, okay. Parisian. But I didn't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Police have missed something right under their noses or beaks. In investigation mode, you are free to examine the scenery of the room. Click on an item of interest and Falcon will examine it in closer detail. When you have had enough or when you can find nothing else to examine, click on the X in the top right corner. Falcon What? Oh, I see. So, there's, like, the things around the things we can look at? Well, I guess we can cool. try to look at the bloody stairs. Another beautifully made horse statue. It's so beautiful. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep, eventually you realized it was just filling up on horse divorce. Ugh, terrible. What does that mean? I am not sure. <laughs> Stairs. Dried blood on the staircase. 
This must be where Monsieur Greenwee died. Do you see any bloody footprints? Ooh, ooh, or maybe a name scrawled in blood written with the frog's last breath? Wishful thinking. And I'm seeing here is a big sticky puddle of goo. There's nothing to indicate that the body was moved or that the frog left a last minute clue. Guess he just died. All I can make out from this bloody mess is that Monsieur Greenwee was attacked and killed on the staircase. So he wasn't thrown onto the staircase after he was attacked. Finely crafted horse statue. The mane almost looks lifelike. Would you say it behooves you to stroke it? <laughs> no, no, I would not. But why do you have to be like that? It's a fountain. This fountain is finely crafted. It's solid carved marble. That can't have been cheap. Nope. I see nothing but water in the bottom of the lower basin. So no fishing rods? It's a shame. It's a shame but hey. Oh, yeah. It's a shame we can't see inside the upper base of the mirror. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. <laughs> That's actually not a terrible line of reasoning. We ought to weigh it in to take a closer look just to be sure. Get on my shoulders, Tiny. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we should. Oh, I apologize. I wasn't being direct enough. What I meant to say was... Sparrison, go wait in the fountain and take a closer look inside the upper basin. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Me? No way. If you want to go waiting, do it yourself. I'm a respectable lawyer. <laughs> you can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle around a fountain like a duck in a lake. Yeah, well, you don't pay me enough to justify getting my sweet threads wet. Look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip for it. I really think sparrows and might be American. <laughs> <laughs> flip for it? What? What is this? Yep, I'll flip this one money coin. You call the outcome. Get it wrong and you go for a swim. Tails. So what'll it be? Heads or tails? Napoleon face or plant squiggles? Plant squiggles! <laughs> plant squiggles. It's called the wreath. Sparrowson. Sure, I bet on the plant squiggles. <laughs> Here I go. It's heads. Should have gone with the old emperor, Falcon. God damn it. <laughs> God, fine. Hold my shoes. Falcon really should learn how to spot a rigged coin flip. You son of a... I almost feel bad for cheating. Almost. <laughs> so even if I had picked heads... <laughs> ah, you're back! Had a good swim! No, I'm a bird, not a fish. But I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, though. It looks like a bandy. What is this? It's brown and sticky, and it smells weird. Don't tell me you picked up a... a very wet cigar butt, possibly belonging to Baron Rogier? Correct. But that shouldn't be too surprising. It is the house, after all. I'll stash it in the evidence folder, just in case. Cigar butt has been added to your evidence folder. Is there anything else we need to do here? Uh... We got more statues to look at. A horse statue! This one has a goofy face! <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar and the barkeep says... Why the long face? Yes, yes, we've all heard that one. What? No. The barkeep says, you've got to stop coming here, you're drinking us under the ta under the stable. <laughs> I think it's time to rein in the horse jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Baron Rogil certainly likes his horse statues. I don't mind the horse statues, but the little sheriff people creep me out. They do. Baby should be waddling, not attempting saddleless horseback riding. Good point. Anything else? No, I don't see anything. My mouse cursor's back. I still don't see anything. Are we done, I guess? I guess we're done, but now we have evidence. I think
think we're done here. Good call, but are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We still have time. Don't push your luck. You rigged it! What is this? What? What? <laughs> it's a fucking giraffe. What are you doing here? Second floor, third door on the right. This must be the room where the photograph was taken. Psst, hey Falcon, did you see that? It's a lady. See what? That housemaid totally just did something shifty. Shifty? What does that mean? I think she just pocketed something from that drawer. You should totally call her out on it. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Duh! Ah! The, the, are you two policemen? No, no. We're private attorneys. My name's J.J. Falcon. Then I'm Sparrowson. Don't be rude of me. My name is Colleen Duhart, so, uh, what, can I help you with- Duhart. <laughs> We're investigating the murder that took place last week. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Ah! <laughs> what did you want to ask? That's adorable. <laughs> uh, is it? This is where the photograph was taken, right? Is this where the photograph was taken? We're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know where this is right? Is, uh, this is the right room. Where this is right. Whether this is the right room. Oh, so, yeah. You're, you're in the right. Yeah, I saw the photography session for myself. Yeah. Let's see. The guy was standing where you are, actually. Hmm. And where was the camera pointed? Right at the clock above the mantelpiece. The Baron insisted on using that very location. Now that I'm looking at it, something isn't right about that clock. It doesn't have the hands. I know, the painting on it totally clashes with the decor. I was thinking along more obvious lines. That clock has no hands. Though that clock has never had hands in all the years I've worked here. I think Baron Rougier just keeps it around as a conversation piece. Well, we're conversing about it, so I guess it's working. A peculiar detail, though. I'll make note of it. Missing lock hands. I'm an at your evidence folder. Is there something else you wanted? Is there something we should know? What were you doing? You're looking. You're acting very suspicious, giraffe lady. Very suspicious, giraffe lady. You were a little nervous when we came in. You thought we were police officers. There's, there's nothing we ought to know. Anything you need to confess. Like stealing. No, 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 Pressure. Under pressure. Are you sure there isn't anything that you're hiding? It's okay to tell us. We're defense attorneys. That means we help people get away with criminal acts. Right, Anne. Wait a second. Wait. What? No! That's not our accurate job description, Sparrowson. It isn't? Oh. What do we do, then? I'll tell you later. Get near. Uh, honestly, Majors, I have nothing to hide. Was there something else you wanted? Yeah, yeah, that's all, yeah. No further questions. Thank you, Mademoiselle. You've been a huge help. It's no, no problem. Actually, there is something. Ew. I know you two saw me stealing as you came in. I appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree about it. You see, I'm driving to stay up to follow my dreams and... everything. It's no problem, my Pizzell. To be honest, we have a much larger crime to worry about. Although, I should probably ask... I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else, silverware, perhaps? Yeah, you know about that? Yeah, that was, that was me. I didn't like teaspoons, and I didn't think 
anyone would have noticed. But me, yeah. That's one mystery solved, at least. It's like, eventually, you just took all of them, and then they had nothing. 